All right, we're going across live to these pictures coming in now. ISRO is all set to launch its own space shuttle. Uh, this is, of course, uh a new in the series of Made in India coming in from the Premier Space Institute, ISRO, which is launching its own space shuttle today. Right, so India is launching its maiden indigenous winged reusable launch vehicle that is being dubbed as its own space shuttle and these pictures coming to you live from Sri Harikota spaceport in Andhra Pradesh. The weather was conducive for the launch today and this coming in as a major boost to India's space mission once again. The reusable launch vehicle or the RLV TD is ultimately aimed at putting satellites into orbit around Earth and then re-enter atmosphere and it will be carried up on a solid rocket motor and these live pictures coming to you uh, from Sri Harikota. Our national affairs editor uh, Srinjoy is with me now on the phone line. Srinjoy, uh, of course this is a new for the ISRO and also it was uh, built up as India's first perhaps in Made in India mission as well. Yes, it's the space shuttle really. And when you have a re reusable rocket, it, it is of course a technological feat. It's an enormous success technologically to actually have one. More important, um, it's also economical. It's, it's a much cheaper uh, thing. So it's easier to send satellites into space. Um, and uh, at a lower cost. So, and on an economic scale, it becomes much, much better because organizations like ISRO and even uh, international similar organizations always have looked at crunch, fund crunches. And in this case, uh, if you have the ability to send uh, satellites to space cheaply, as this one will be with the reusable rocket, it is an advantage to ISRO. So that, of course, is one. The other big thing, of course, is the fact that uh, we have been able to put together a reusable rocket, a kind of space shuttle, if you can call it that. This really means that the same rocket can be used again and again. A space shuttle is a major technological feat because the other case, of course, is um, once it's gone up, it's, it's gone up and as we remember from the old days, it would ditch in an ocean. That, that situation is not there anymore. And now there are really two things ISRO has to do. One is, of course, the moon mission um, mm -hmm. and the Mars mission. That is, of course, a big thing that, is, that lies ahead. The other, and that is where uh, the Americans are also coming in, is the manned mission. Now, India will be one of the few countries that will be able to send uh, an astronaut into space. The Americans, of course, have done it again and again and again. The Russians have done it. The Chinese have done it. Now, India is looking towards it. And by 2020, hopefully, India will be able to send a man into space.